of issues uh, being addressed also dictate what kind of uh, um, therapies we're looking at. So um, <clears throat> it gets you, it's, like not a, it's not a one size fits all kind of thing. It's just sometimes it takes multiple um, trials. So <clears throat> we go through some different types. Um, they look at what are they used for, what are they not used for, things like that. So, uh, psychodynamic theories. So, these were one of the first ones to come about. So, this was, uh, arose from uh, Sigmund Freud. First off, there's only one toilet in that place, so only one kid was probably on there, but okay. Uh, and, like, yeah, during recess, they got walking tickets. And they had to walk in the shade instead of play. I felt like, like, first that first visuals looked like, felt like they were in like a little prison, right? Doing like the walk. Um, but I was like, you could have done something else. You didn't have to punish them, but okay. Um, but my kid comes home. We have a couple options, right? You know me, I'm not going to punish, right? I'm going to look at ways to shape that behavior differently. So he talks to me. He's just like, and it turns out, he was like, I was in there. He goes, and his friend, who like, that kid's the problem one. Uh, so he was the one who was up on the toilet and trying to, you know, get a fly or something on the wall. He goes, and I thought it was funny. I'm like, yeah, that is funny. And I'm like, you're right. I'm like, but, I'm like, you're probably going to get in trouble for that. I'm like, you know what? It's okay to leave the situation. I'm like, you don't have to go tell on him. I don't want to create a telltale. So I'm like, if you're in a situation where you think someone else is doing something and it's wrong, and you think you might get in trouble, just leave, All right? Just get out of there. And so let me practice. I'll be like, at home all right, I'll be like, hey. I'm like, let's go to the bathroom and stand on the toilet. He's like, no, that's wrong. I'm like, there we go, all right? So, uh, this other day I did that at, uh, we were at Fry's and I did that too. I'm just there at Fry's randomly. So the people most think we're uh, weird, but he's like, no, that's wrong. So I'm like, all right, we're getting it down. So my goal is hopefully, right, next time that situation comes up and he's in a situation where uh, some of his friends are doing something he doesn't think is right, he just leaves, right? Gets out of there. Uh, we'll see. Well, so. All right. Brian was late to school today. Please excuse it, Brian. No, no, you can't do that, Mike. I'm 18. I can I can drop out if I want. All right, I can do what I want now. And they they knew I was technically right. So. shows up on Canvas, it will be called Final Grade Ignore Total. Uh, that percentage that you see there uh, for that final grade 
that is what I'm going to send over to your instructors. Uh, then the instructors will take that percentage and put it as part of your total grade uh, for your lecture class. Uh, I believe that the percentages are slightly different between Palalamari and uh, DeGraffenry, so it just depends on who you have. But, uh, go ahead. So, we're separate from the lecture. So, for the, the labs are separate, but the recitations go into the lecture. So, recitation and lecture paired together, uh, but lab is separate, that is correct. Uh, go ahead. And the two lowest attendance scores are dropped? Yes, the two lowest attendance scores are dropped, so two lowest scores, or whatever those will be when I do the calculation, uh, those are going to get dropped uh, here with this. So uh, I will uh, again uh, calculate that uh, and then uh, post it for you uh, guys uh, today. So that's uh, what makes potential energies useful, is we can get that uh, energy back. So with calculating gravitational potential energy, where that equation, the mgh, comes from, the force applied is the weight force, mg, and then height is the distance that you basically traveled. You changed some sort of height there. So force times distance, mgh. So, uh, when it comes to uh, gravity here, you are going to have to pick some sort of reference height uh, to use in your problem. So if you know that there's some sort of change in height, a classic example is they'll have some sort of roller coaster, and maybe they'll have uh, some initial velocity here, but they want you to find the final velocity over here. Uh, what you can use is uh, for setting the reference height, uh, you've got a couple options here. Uh, note, all of them would all work. For example, you could set, uh, or maybe also, it asks for uh, velocity here as well. What I recommend for gravitational potential energy when you're dealing with it, figure out where it's going to be the lowest point in your problem, uh, whatever that might be, and set that location at the reference height. So if I had to ask for this spot in the middle here uh, about its velocity, uh, I would recommend calling that h equals zero. So uh, we have uh, Marissa here, she's finished her gym workout, uh, but she doesn't want to carry her bag afterwards because she's too tired. So she decides to drag her bag here across the floor, uh, weighs 23 kilograms, a uh, heavy fur bag, uh, but she pulls it 14 meters along the floor, uh, we have the coefficient of friction with the floor, and it wants us to figure out basically how much thermal energy does she create by just dragging her back across the floor. I'll post your final grades later today. journal prompt. Today's date is April 18, 2023, and today's prompt is about appreciation. So you can either, there we go, you can either write this as a letter, pretending you're writing like 5% ratio, and get old people on, the old people can, they, they have senior old exam, phones, it's actually heavy with, yeah. you know what I'm saying, there's no problem with that. Yeah, but that's, like, that's something that could happen. Yeah, I feel like that's what should be done. All right, thank you, Matt. Uh, this is a really interesting topic. I don't know who that is. All right, here we go. Okay, so we have a question. 